Hey folks, Daily Lance Blog for May the 16th, 2018. And uh, not the best day of my life, a sad day, uh, but not a depressed day. And it's on a, on a day like this that I really uh, realized the difference between the two. Today was um, my friend Luke's funeral. Now, uh, I have been speaking about Luke the last couple of days. And I've got lots of comments from people saying that they're really sorry for my loss. And I think it's important for me to point out that um, I, I'm, I'm not the injured party here. You know, it's his family. And I only knew Luke for the last couple of years. And I only knew him, actually, um, when he was struggling. There was this brief little glimpse of a period when he was doing better. Uh, but today was this experience that uh, actually, you know, part of me um, had this sad smile. Um, at least in my head, because I didn't know Luke before he was sick. So I only knew depressed Luke. I only knew the guy that was just fighting and was struggling so badly. And as I said, you know, I remember the first time I met him on the street, I, I looked at him and I thought, oh my gosh, I see it. I could feel it. It was like I could smell it from him. Everything about him was the illness. But just every once in a while, I would see this tiny glimpse of this really clever, really funny, really self-deprecating, really cool guy. But today, at his funeral, uh, I listened to uh, a couple of his friends and co-workers, uh, partners in his business, and two of his daughters, and the rabbi speak, and everybody spoke of this guy that I saw this tiny little bit of, but they magnified it a thousand times. And you know, you go to funerals, and everybody is the greatest person in the world, right? And uh, I remember going to a funeral once of um, one of my bosses, and I remember thinking... <laughs> Oh my God, who the hell are they talking about? I was going to say, open up the coffin and find out who's in there because that's not the guy I knew. But Luke, this guy that I heard about, was just so, so loved and so well thought of that you could tell this was 100% genuine. So for me, it was like being able to go back in time and see the Luke that I didn't get a chance to really know and to really admire him and to just be heartbroken for his family and just feel this horrible sense of the fog that falls on us when we suffer from this ghastly illness because he was all that and I know how badly he wanted to show that and he couldn't and that's just it's just really sad. But like I said, it was it was nice to be able to hear the guy that uh, I thought was there really was there. Sicknowweek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. Man, this illness really sucks.